This week, Bounce TV returned for a new season of In The Cut. As one of the recurring guests on the show, the one and only Mark Curry has now joined the cast. And to tell us more about the world, Mr. Curry calls into the Comedy Hype News Show. First and foremost, thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. We are so happy to have you. How are you doing? I'm doing excellent. Thank you, Brick Wall. I mean, I mean, thank you for, um, I saw that so much Brick Wall. I just went back to, I felt like I was in a, 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 a black historical movie. Mama, I'm leaving tonight. I meet everybody near the Brick Wall. It's the, it's the aesthetics. It's just to remind you of that good barbecue, that's all. That's right, that's right. How you doing? I'm, it's a pleasure to be on Comedy Hype. Absolutely. So first I want to dive in. I know you're a man from Oakland, which is also, um, you know, home of the Black Panthers. And right now with everything that's going on, I just kind of want to get your thoughts. How do you think right now what's going on in 2020, the Black Panthers would respond? Well, the Black Panthers would have responded um, like they responded in 1968, 67, 65, just like they responded then, where they used, they were a very educated group even though you know they're portrayed as a violent group they were educated they used the laws of america to to you know go against the racial adversity in america so they used the laws they were the first ones to carry guns on the state capitol because it says you can carry guns you know just like right now so i think that the black panther vanguard would have been in there and they would have been telling the truth um, about the administration or whatever's going on in the world, and they would have found an educational way to protest, uh, you know, maybe a way to jump in the... I, they would have found something, an educational way by reading the book, by reading the laws and breaking it down. You know, we're seeing things happen around us, but it's, it's coming a time where our community is trying to mend together and, you know, really come together and unify and something that I noticed with you, you know, I know you and Steve Harvey kind of had your disputes, but you've kind of said, you know, you've moved on from, from that situation and you kind of just want to leave it where it is. So I want to ask you, looking back at the situation with Steve Harvey, do you have any, like, any regrets in hindsight? No, oh, no regrets. I don't have any regrets. It's just that I'm a working comedian and that's what I do. And so when you, if you're taking my material, then you're taking, you know, you're taking my 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 lifeline and so that's the reason that was addressed because you know it's, that's my lifeline it's more it's more to it that was taken that was only one part that, that i showed you know he took you know it's a longer bit so my thing was is, is you know with the beef it wasn't no beef there ain't no beef with me you know i it, it's it's a situation where if you are going to blatantly you know, rob me, then I got to come after you. I don't know, you know, what you want me to do. People no. start thinking, people start thinking it was me. You know, was, what, what ticked it off was when somebody said, hey, that was Steve Harvey's joke. I said, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. So someone said that to me. So that's how that all started. So, you know, and, um, and, and you know, got it. What, what am I supposed to do? Not, I hear, I heard a lot of punk ass comedians talking shit. So, about that also and they know who they are taking up for him i don't think they need to do this some atlanta comedian you know so you know stop taking up for him so and i and i noticed there um or it, it's been said that there are a lot of similarities between um hanging with mr cooper and the steve harvey show do you think that you know steve kind of took the concept from from that show from hanging with mr cooper Look at the show. Mr. Hanging Mr. Cooper was a principal with a suit on. I think, was he a principal with a suit on? <laughs> what you think? What you think? Well, I, wanna, I, I mean, I mean, what you think? What you think? You know, you saw Hanging with Mr. Cooper for five years. You saw his show. Kind of looked like mine. I call it a coincidence. I look at it like this when, you know, that means I was doing my job when people want to be me. When I was, I was, I the one gave him the job at um, Showtime at the Apollo. I don't know why he don't remember that, you know, because at that time I had Hang On Mr. Cooper, I had Living Color, and I had, I had the Apollo. So I couldn't do them all. So, right. you know, people forget. But that's all right. I'm happy. I, we can see that, and your your whole aura shows that. Um, question, how, how did you and Steve meet? Because I, I know you said you just mentioned that you 
you know, put him on at the Apollo. How did you two meet? We're old school comedians. We're old school 80s comedians. Back in the day, me and Steve were the only ones doing the, the black club. It was me, Steve Harvey, and George Wallace. Maybe the only, it wasn't too many black dudes doing clubs. <laughs> right. You know, it wasn't, it was, that was it. That was it. So that's how we met back in the day. Um, you know, you've kind of mentioned some of the, the things that you've accomplished, you know, living, um, hanging with Mr. Cooper, the Apollo, list goes on and on. Looking over your career and, you know, from where you are now, is there anything that you wish you would have done differently? Um, done differently? No, you know, I, 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 um, I, um, I, I had a happy life. You know, I've had everything, everything that I've wanted in life, I've, I've gotten. Not too many people can say that. You know, everything that I dreamt of, I've gotten. And um, so there's some more dreams deferred that I have that I'm not finished with. But I liked everything that I've done. I like, you know, there's some little little things you could have done. Maybe I should have did this, maybe I should have did that. But you wouldn't have the outcome that you have right now. You know what I mean? I wouldn't be sitting here right now. So everything happened for a reason. The Lord puts you in a situation. And sometimes you say, Lord, man, I wanted that. Then you look back and say, I'm glad I didn't do that. I remember like the movie Joanna Man. I wanted to do, I was up for Joanna Man. I was like, man, I didn't get it. Miguel New Year's guy, I was bummed out, man. But then I saw the movie. I'm like, shit, I'm glad I didn't do that movie. I would have been Joanna Man for the rest of my life. Oh, my God. So, you know, little things like that. It's been a while since we've seen you, you know, in sitcoms. What, what's the reason for that? That that pull away. I um, I did Mr. Cooper. That's something I wanted to do. I wanted to do television. When I did television, I was done with television. I did it. I made a mark. I think I made a good mark, and um, I was done. You know, I, I, I did enough. And so, I wanted to be a comedian. So I really um, liked the lifestyle of a comedian. And so I just went on tour. You know, I went on tour. I've been on, on tour since. Tour with, from some more with Cat, with Michael Epp, Mike Epps. Dude, I wanted to be a good comedian. You know, deep down inside, you see a lot of guys who, who could do comedy. They may fill up arenas. They do a lot. But they're not, you know, they're not happy within themselves. They're not a comedian. I like Dave right. Chappelle's career. All he does is do comedy. He don't do movies. He don't do nothing. He's just a comedian. And to me... I thought that was a beautiful thing, and that's what I wanted to do, and so that's what I, I did. And so now I'm back on the limelight at my choosing. You know, I come back, you know, when I want to, and so now I'm back, and here I am, comedy hype. What? So now Mr. Curry has has made his his step back on the scene within the cut. Let's talk a little bit about that. How did you get this role? Uh, my agent called, and uh, they said, "Do you want to do in the cut?" And I was like, well, what is that? You know, I mean, I mean, I knew I knew what the show was. They said, well, they want you to do the whole season. And I read it. I, they told me the character. He was a guy just fresh out of jail. I said, I'll do it. I love characters. So I play the guy fresh out of jail. I, um, I go move in with his name is Wade. I move in with Cheryl, who is um, and uh, with and Dorian. And uh, so I move in. I'm, I'm, I'm Cheryl's brother. So I move in with them. I get a job at the barber shop. So here I am, fresh out of jail. I'm gang banging. I'm throwing up. I got a tattoo. What's up, Bo? What's your name? And what what made you choose now to to step back into sitcoms? Well, I mean, it was fun. You know, it was a great. They offered me the role. I didn't have to audition. They knew who I was. They offered me the role. I, I, it was a whole season of it. And the character just got out of jail. I ain't about to play no boring character. He's just a man who has a child, a son. He's trying to get his son to realize who he is. And shit, I got a chance to play a dude straight out of jail. Yeah, what's up, folks? I'm from I'm from Oakland, town business. So you know that's that's my alter ego anyway. Yeah, like what? Uh, what am I mean? You know, you know, you know, you know. You know it's like it's just like an ATL thing. And so I got oh, a chance yeah. to play that. So I get to see it tonight. I haven't even get to. See, I didn't get a chance to see it, 
So I'm excited to watch it. I love Bounce TV. I love Black TV. I have a TV in my studio. It just is on Bounce. I got to tell Bounce that it just, I keep it on Bounce TV because it's Black TV. So I keep it on there 24 hours a day. And so, you know, so I'm excited to come back. I hope everybody likes it. I hope people laugh. And, you know, that's what I'm just trying to do, just to make them laugh. And I, it's time for me to come back to television. And I'm ready to come back. I feel, you know, I'm going to cut this hair and come back and, um, you know, maybe do a Mr. Cooper reunion. I see Will Smith is doing the reunion. We can, we might as well get back and do a reunion. No reason why we can't. 